Hey everyone, welcome to the show. We are live on Professor and Friends. Thank you for being here. One and it is Taco Tuesday on the week of Thanksgiving. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Tony, how are you, my buddy? I'm doing good, sir. I'm doing good. How about you? I am uh I'm feeling uh really good. I just had my first uh, shower since Friday. Oh, I bet. That's really clean. good. I took an extra long one. I was really um, you know, it's a uh, this past weekend, we went and camped. Uh, we had a Thanksgiving camp with some friends of mine that I made uh, several years ago back on Overland Bound. Man, when I was real heavy on Overland Bound years and years and years ago, uh, made some friends. And that's, uh, you know, and still to this day, that's one of the things that he says, you know, I really don't get on there very much anymore, but I'm really thankful for it because we've built some friendships that have lasted this long. And then we made some more friends from Alabama um, at the rendezvous. They camped beside us uh, three years ago, I believe. And we got together, had a Thanksgiving camp at a state park. And it was really weird camping at a state park. Um, not usually our cup of tea. I don't like paying for camping. Um, but yeah. we got together at Indian Creek State Park in Wynn. And, um, you know, you can't camp and win very often. You have to do it in the cold because the mosquitoes will carry you off. Oh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I actually did see a mosquito. I did see a mosquito. I saw a few flies, but that was about it. I killed the mosquito. And, uh, but it was, it was, it was beautiful out there. You know, that's my first yeah. time I'd ever been there. And uh, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, how's how's it, the color? Colors were beautiful. Uh, yeah. what is left they have a you know that's over in the delta um so it's they get a lot of wind over there uh it i, I mean i was driving home today and it was like you know, oh yeah the, the wind hits you, you know, you're having to steer like this yeah, to go exactly, straight. like riding a motorcycle <laughs> into kansas it was uh, <laughs> a lot of wind so i'm i'm surprised they have any leaves whatsoever over there but uh, yeah uh, what what rest of the leaves that were on the trees it was beautiful i was able to uh, calm down a little bit yesterday i was able to fly the drone a little bit and get some good shots and, and nice. uh, but we had a good time uh they they did have restrooms there but no hot water um and i was i walked all the way down there to take a shower let the water run for about five minutes and it was just ice cold oh so, no so no shower no, I ain't not doing this. We uh, shower pouched it, shower pouched it all weekend. So uh, we were semi clean, uh, but not scalding hot water, scrubbing down to the bone clean. So, so did did you take your uh, boss base camp with you? I did. You did. I sure did. We had it with us. Um, hey, there's was, my wife. Uh, I, I, we, I, we had I, it. Uh, we had it set up. I used it all weekend to wash dishes. Um, and um you know because we did a lot of cooking i had a lot of cast iron to clean so uh yeah we used we used the boss it worked perfect yeah uh, flawlessly no errors on this one and i was super excited i i bet they they probably uh the state parks might frown on using that for a shower you think you know i came about this close to totally yeah. down there yeah. i mean i came so close to just saying Hey, you know, I could load up my water jug and all I got to use is their heated shower stall. That's all, that's all I need, you know? There, there you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Who knows? But, uh, it was fun. We had a good time and um, we were able to make a few changes on the trailer. This is the first time that we had used this setup that we have now. And uh, uh, we changed out our shower, shower tent, shower stall. Um, we made some changes to the way the tent was mounted um, and we learned how to put the walls on the awning. It was, it was educational and, and fun. Uh, got really cold, um, but it was also our first time to use our diesel heater and uh, my wife is in love. Yeah. Um, she is in absolute love with the diesel heater. I'll be we talked about the diesel weeks. heater uh, last week. Uh, we talked about it as one of the uh, hot items to get your loved one for Christmas. And it, now that I have actually used one myself, highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. You got, That's it right that there. Up there? You That's get the it orange there. one? Yeah, no, well, it. it's it's red, but it's kind of it looks kind of yeah. orange back there. But yeah. but yeah, it's I've still got to finish doing my little mods and fixing and making it making well, it uh, um, ready to go. Let me tell you, let me tell you, Tony. I filled. Um, I had a roto packs half full is all I took. Um, you know, we had a buddy heater we used the first night. Uh, we were real tired that first night, and it really didn't get cold. We didn't use a heater at all the first night. Second night, uh, rained all day and didn't want to mess with it. But last night, it, it was supposed to get down to 31. And um, we were kind of getting low on propane, had already ran one bottle out, and I thought, ah, I think I'm going to get the diesel heater out. And I had a half a, half a uh, jug full of diesel. I filled the tank completely up on the diesel heater, it ran 15 hours. Oh, wow. On a tank. I was totally impressed. Totally impressed. 15 yeah, hours. That's and you know, it's really odd this time of year because it's getting dark at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, when the temperature drops to 31 and you really don't have a gathering place to keep warm, we got up in the tent. We were in bed laying in the tent at six o'clock. Yeah. And I got out of the tent this morning about 8, 8.30. I think it was about 8.30. I checked the fuel. It was almost out. I told my wife, I said, it's getting close. You don't have much heat left. And at 9 o'clock, she rolled out. I went to the bathroom, came back. And she said, my heater went off. <laughs> I was like, well, it's been going for 15 hours. So, I mean. 15 hours on one tank. I mean, that's, I that's pretty incre incredible. I was yeah, so it was you good. It was good. Porker, uh, man, thanks for joining us. Uh, Porker's out in West Virginia. They've got snow nice. on the ground. Uh, I'm talking about how cold it is here, and they've got snow on the ground out there. Uh, Keith, uh, thanks for joining us. Keith is down in the Dallas area, and I'm going to talk about Keith here in just a minute, one of the things I'm thankful for, because I'm going in the morning. We're having uh, Thanksgiving with my good friend Keith uh, and his wife tomorrow. They're putting us up. Uh, in Dallas as we go to the Cowboys game on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, nice. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Maybe you'll get to see some of that six-legged turkey. Oh, man. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, here we are. Here we are the week of Thanksgiving. Um, the week of thanks. What, what's, what's a normal week of Thanksgiving like around your place? Uh, so... I mean, usually, you know, we work unless we're traveling to see family. Uh, like this year, we're not really traveling, you know, out of state. So it, in this particular instance, it's, you know, we will go see uh, my wife's family on Thursday and have turkey dinner there. And then uh, we'll go see some of my family. Sometimes it's on Thursday night. Uh, this year, it's actually going to be on Saturday. Hmm. So okay cool my family we gather now on saturday is is all of your family do they live close to you uh pretty much okay that's the same much. here uh um, yeah. connie's mom lives in the same town that we do my parents live in the same town that we do uh pretty much the only ones that don't live here um connie's son lives in uh kansas city but they're actually coming down um so um he works outdoors up there, so it's getting kind of cold, and uh, he works tomorrow, and then he's off the rest of the week. So, 
Yeah. Um, you know, normally we go to my mom's on Thanksgiving Day and have, you know, Thanksgiving lunch, dinner, whatever with them. And then Saturday, we always have this thing we call Thanksmas, which is Thanksgiving and Christmas combined with our extended family. So all the cousins and the uncles and everything, we, we reserve uh, the Family Life Center at my brother-in-law's church and the kids run wild and we sit around and play dirty santa uh with the adults and let me tell you it gets dirty that's fun even at church even at church it gets pretty bad and, uh, usually uh i'm the dirtiest uh, <laughs> you know i'm the black sheep of the family so somebody's got to do it that's right oh uh, oh my wife just said i heard luke combs is playing at halftime for the thanksgiving oh my gosh a huge fan huge fan luke combs well, huge you get fan. to see him in person man I'm excited Eat about that. Turkey. Golly. Long neck. Ice yes. cold beer. Never yes. broke my heart. That's right. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, man. Thanksgiving. My, my wife's been after me to go to a concert forever and ever. And uh, I could probably get behind going to see Luke Combs. Uh, yeah. I could probably yeah, do that. I'm a big fan. Big fan yeah. of Luke Combs. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I wanted to say to you, Tony um it has it been made public yet can i say anything on the air or do we need to wait um congratulations yeah i'd i'd say i'd say it could probably be probably put out there yeah well i wanted to say good because i wanted to say congratulations tony is now a part he actually has a title of uh Grand Poobah something. I don't know what it is. It's a big, long, fancy title. Some Probably sort of something. Some sort of um, something. It's what? It's something. Uh, don't even I, don't, know I can't even remember what the title is. Something about uh, uh, digital digital dude or something. Yeah, I'm, digital I'm, dude. Uh, Tony know. is now part of Long Creek Overland, and that is exciting. Um, yes. Long Creek yes. Overland, one of our sponsors for the show, has done our professor and friends shirts that we both have on sporting today long creek overland we got the koozie there with the bro fester and friends uh long creek overland uh one of the one of the great sponsors of the show we love john and what he's doing over there john has really done such a great job he's got more work that he could do and tony yeah. and uh and arla are now a part of that yeah. And I'm really excited for you guys. That's awesome. Yeah, That's a thank you. Step. We're 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 really excited about that. Uh, honored that uh, you know John felt that highly of us that uh, he could you know invite us into his business in this way. And uh, he's you know friends is one of the things that I was going to talk about that I'm grateful for. And I'm I'm sure grateful for John. So shoot, yeah, shoot, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's dive off right into it. Um, you know, we we had talked about um, what we were what we what we were going to discuss this week, and I thought, shoot, you know, it's it's Thanksgiving. We've never really had. I've never done. And I've done this for over a year now, and and um, we've never really had a Thanksgiving show. We've never really talked about and dedicated a show to what we were thankful for. I don't know if we can cram pack this in an hour or not because it'd be tough. Uh, I'm a blessed guy. Yeah. Um, you know, I, th I think we both are. And I think our yeah. lists are very long. Yeah. Um, but personally, um, I really can't even begin to think about what to be thankful for without talking about my family. Yeah. Um, my family, my parents um, couldn't ask for a better set of parents. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people can't say that in this day and age, you know, when I work with teenagers 10 11 12 year olds uh at a school and i have to deal with parents all the time i am super thankful because good parents are hard to find these days yep. and my parents my you know my dad's a baptist preacher my mom is a school teacher both uh my mom's retired my dad is this is his last year he's retiring after this year he's 72 and still working been at central baptist college since 1976 do the math on that so it's uh it's uh pretty did, amazing did he make off with your flashlight with your light i need to discuss that with him because i still haven't found that <laughs> still haven't found that 
Dad, I'm coming after you if you get my flashlight. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I, I may just give it to him. I mean, he's earned it. I probably, you know, in, in the big big realm of things, I probably owe him a couple million dollars anyway. For probably, all yeah. So, we all owe our yeah, parents. Keith, that's funny. I'm thankful I wake up every morning. You know, I, and I say that's funny, but that's true. Uh, we're never promised time. So uh, time is time is something that we take for granted a lot. But being I'm thankful, thankful that. I'm thankful that I can sit up and take nourishment on a daily basis. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I was thankful that I was able to walk again uh, after being up in that tent last night for 15 hours <laughs> on a three inch memory foam mattress. That is yeah. like three inches, not, you know, I wish it was six inches. It's six inches. Body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, family, um, my kids, uh, Casey, Candice, uh, my daughters, one's a nurse, one's a teacher. I uh, can't say thankful enough uh, about them. Kristen, my my stepdaughter, Chase, um, both are just awesome, awesome people. Uh, I have a son, uh, son-in-law, uh, Michael's probably the hardest worker I've ever seen. And um, my daughter-in-law is one of the best bakers I've ever seen. And every time she comes down, she puts me a strawberry cheesecake in the fridge and i'm very thankful for that yes i want to keep being thankful for that too julieta <laughs> um, and this year we were blessed with a brand new granddaughter phoenix and um so thankful awesome. for that so family family's right up there and yeah. i can't say thankful thank you enough for that what about you tom same thing man uh first and foremost i am thankful for my wife she is uh you know you you hear this all the time but she literally is the glue that keeps us together mm. um you know i was on the phone a while ago with a customer and trying to get ready for the show and i had no idea what time it had gotten and here she come home didn't even know she was home and she brought me dinner and fixed me up uh you know something to eat and and then she's on her way out the door but uh 29 years ago today we uh went out on our first date really so, yeah 29 years ago today well yeah well uh, isn't that something happy yeah. anniversary uh, yeah. date thank anniversary you. or whatever you call it that's cool thank you yeah that is very cool so well, uh, and she's she's uh you know I, we've got we all have many friends but she really is my best friend too so it's that's anyway. awesome Porker says, I'm thankful for my wife, Sasha. She supports me, funds a lot of this, and she rides along beside me in these adventures. Couldn't do it without her. It's, um, yeah, and Sasha says she's thankful for the memory foams at the Marriott. <laughs> mm. yep. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. Connie says, happy anniversary, first date. And thank while you, my Connie. wife's up there, I want to I wanna also say thank you for her. Um, you know, it is a true blessing to me to have a wife that likes to do the same things that I do. That's right. You know, we, we met while we were mo riding motorcycles together. She rides her own. I ride mine. We ride together. Um, she's a horrible backseat rider. So she, uh, she rides her own and, uh, it's a control issue. She'll never yeah. admit it, but it is. Uh, well, that's, but, right. that's, you know, that's why we have two Jeeps now. Yeah, exactly. That's why we have two FJs. You know, it's, it's great. And you and I can both say, uh, say the same thing. We have wives that love to do the same things we do. And that is truly a blessing. You know, yeah. we go camping a lot with guys and we never see their wives. Yeah. And uh, and I can truly say that that is a blessing. And, and Porker, I know she swore up and down she would never go anywhere with you. And she's already been. And so that's a good woman. That's yep. a good woman right there. Yep. And, uh, you know, because of their love for us, they tolerate a lot. And um, I know my wife tolerates a lot. She says I'm a little too much sometimes. I don't know where she gets that. No. Um, nah. But anyway, wives, friends. Wives, friends. You know, my daughter, I have, you know, I just love her to pieces. She's sweet and sassy and you know and all of that she's actually very creative she uh came up with a pretty neat t-shirt design today just kind of sketching around we'll we'll show that off at another time but uh awesome. anyway she's she's just great i love her and uh family uh the you know parents 
in-laws. I've got some of the best in-laws that, uh, you know, you could ask for. So mm. love them to pieces and, um, neighbors. I've got yeah. some great neighbors. Yeah. You know, That's uh, cool. I got one, one neighbor that is making these for us, man. A little Check leather, out. little leather patch, leather patch. Yeah, a little uh, more on that to come later. But uh, neighbors uh, love love our neighbors, um, our best friends, friends, extended family, true sponsors. He says there's so many things to be thankful for, and it's not the material things; it's family, grandkids, yeah. friends, and health, and that's true. Yeah. You know, I've known I've known Keith for a long time. Uh, Keith and I were in a motorcycle club together. In fact, Keith is the founder. Of the protectors motorcycle club that i was in many many years ago i have a lot of respect for him he is a super guy nice. and uh, took us all around dallas took us on a tour of uh, ranger stadium and oh wow uh, uh, texas motor speedway down there and uh, now he's invited me to his home and i'm truly truly thankful to, for that that's that's going to be a, a that's awesome. truly memorable time and and that's that's another thing i was going to bring up uh, other than friends you know you know this is an overlanding show when we talk about overlanding stuff uh, we talk about gear but uh the people that are in this that do this that we camp with that we hang with they are irreplaceable mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm so thankful for all of you out there that tune in and listen to the show that I've camped with that we've we've done we, we've wheeled together we went on trips together uh, we talk all the time on social media. Uh, it's it's truly a blessing, yeah. And uh, and uh, I truly enjoy it. And it's lifelong friends, and 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 I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely love it. That's right. But the the thing that um, the thing that I was I was going to talk about. Oh no! Here we go, Sasha. This is yeah. Porter's wife. I'm extremely thankful for my husband, Porter, who came into my life at a rough time and loved me and my son through it. I'm not easy to live with and extremely independent. Most of the time he takes it all in stride and I'm truly blessed. Now, if you if you know Sasha and Porter, which probably most of you out there don't besides me and Connie, uh, we we travel to West Virginia a couple times a year. We stay at their house. They are some of the best friends, probably the best friends that we have in the whole world they fight like cats and dogs and if you were anywhere near them you would think that they don't even like each other but <laughs> you know and i know this is hard for sasha to say because she is she's like you know she she whittles at him all the time and he whittles back at her but it's it's fun they have fun and that's that's just them yeah and uh so sasha thank you for for saying that um and Keith says thank you for feeling mutual can't wait to see you buddy uh, really looking forward to coming down there. And Sasha says, I'm extremely blessed to have Connie as my best friend and that our husbands just followed along and went with it. And that's kind of what we do. Uh, yeah. You know, anything to make our wives happy, that's what us men do. Because if the wife ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. That's right. That's right. Well, since we're on the topic of being thankful and it's Thanksgiving, one of the things that comes to mind about Thanksgiving is food. What is normally on your thanksgiving table that you look so forward to every year uh the biggest thing that i look forward to every year and it's it's really hard to get because she's not around anymore is my grandma's uh coconut cream pie oh. it's really hard to find um you know coconut cream pie that rises to that level yeah. that, but it's, yeah. I've seen I've seen pretty some pretty close examples of it. <laughs> it's pretty close. You know when you when you grow I up. I hold her up here. Her. I, I get it. I get yeah. it. You know when you grow up and, and granny or, or grandma makes something and they make something really good, it's really hard to to uh, you know uh, replace that when it's yeah. gone. Yeah. And uh, it's you know I I remember growing up waking up at my granny and papa's house when i was a little kid and smelling bacon and biscuits and gravy mm -hmm. uh, you know every time i would wake up that's what i would smell she would get yeah. up early she knew i loved it 
and she would make it every single time I was there. And to this day, when I when I'm making gravy, she taught me how to make her gravy. And so I'm really good at making gravy. And when I make gravy, when that smell, when 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 you pour the milk in and, and you get the you get the grease just you right. Use, you use bacon grease with to make bacon your gravy. grease and flour. You, you yeah, buddy. That's how I do it. Yeah. But when that smell hits me, it takes me back. Yeah. You know, it takes me back and brings up those memories. And I love it. Connie says so, my mother in law's dressing. Uh, my mom I was wondering what in my was. Yeah. Freaking dressing. I love dressing. Yeah. Porker says tavern ham, deviled eggs, and sweet Ooh. potato casserole. Oh, oh deviled yeah. eggs. I'm a sucker for deviled eggs. My mother in law makes some of the best. Uh, we love deviled eggs. Connie and I, um, th Connie and I make a bacon jalapeno deviled egg that is just incredible. And everybody always asks for them. So, Anyway, if you make regular deviled eggs, that sounds put, amazing. Put bacon bits and little chunks of jalapeno in there, and you will absolutely love them. And looks like Keith actually smokes his deviled eggs. Ooh, I love that. Um, for me, I said the same thing. My mom's dressing. Um, you know, and it and it and it irks me that we can't get dressing all year. Mm. I don't know why this is, but we have to wait until November and December. We get it twice, and then it's done. We should have dressing at least four times a year. I don't know why we can't have dressing more than once. But yeah. Independence Day. Dressing, uh, my grandma made the best mac and cheese, and I've tried to make it the way that she makes it, and it's so hard to do. Um, Sometimes the really good recipes are hard to replicate. They are, because yeah. they're not written down. No. And most of the time, they didn't even measure anything. No. They just had it from memory. Yeah. You know, my granny made cornbread. She never measured anything. She, oh, put a little, put about this much. And then, you know, milk. She, oh, you put about this much. How can I do that? I can't yeah. do that. You're not helping me out. But. See, my, my wife makes some of the best, probably the best mashed potatoes. Mm. Every every time we go somewhere, you know, you sign up to bring something or whatever. Every My, my family, her family, they always say, hey, uh, Ar we need Arla to make the mashed potatoes. And it's yeah. not written down anywhere, but yeah. it's just really good. Yeah, good. So I, I do have a question for you. On turkey, are you a baked turkey or are you kind of a smoked turkey or do you like deep fried turkey? I've, I've had it all. Um, if we have turkey, it's usually baked. Um, if I make it, it's usually smoked, but my favorite is deep fried. Yeah, um, I I love deep fried Cajun turkeys. Yeah, and and I've I've tried to remember, and I'm gonna put it on my phone uh, for next year to get on the list to get a Popeyes deep fried turkey because Popeyes does Cajun deep fried turkeys every year. What? And I always forget until it's too late. Yeah, Popeyes does. Popeyes, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh, see, now I've got to put it on my phone. I'm going to have to wait 368 we'll wait days to get it. 11 months. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. But man. desserts for me, you mentioned you mentioned dessert. Uh, yeah, I went straight. I went, you went straight skipped to past the main course straight to dessert. Oh, man. Smoked apple wood turkey. Yeah. That's, yeah. That sounds good, Keith. It does. Uh, sounds good. Um, for desserts, it's banana pudding for me. All Ooh. Way. That's what I asked for every year on my birthday. My mom actually made me a banana pudding cheesecake. That just blew my mind. Because yeah. cheesecake, uh, I've always been a cherry cheesecake guy. Yeah. Banana pudding. And then she brought the two worlds together and it just blew me away. So best thing I've ever had, banana pudding cheesecake. To me, it's kind of like a uh, rock landing. You know, kind of a, a Jeep off-roader and camping. Yeah. to bring the two worlds together yeah. and anyway <laughs> the two worlds collide the two worlds collide the yes cake. that's right I, my aunt used to make some of the best uh banana pudding it was great mm. so that's that's a tough call love it love it well i really appreciate everybody being here this is such a fun time for me and it really 
warms my heart when we talk about what we're thankful for. And so we want to talk about our sponsors a little bit, but let's pause right now for a word from our sponsors and station identification. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Barry Henderson with Tilbeck Trailers. I'm Adam with Oki Overland. This is John with Long Creek Overland. I'm Drew with Rock Squash Design. I'm Casey with US Action Track. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Misty from the day we wake. I'm here with Dustin Ogg from Oakley Overland. Hi, I'm Jeremiah from Overland Pioneer. Hi, we're Jessica and Jorge from Woodward Wonder. It's Chris from Moore Expo. And I'm Misty from Lady Overlander Radio. And you're watching. And you're watching. And you're watching. You're watching. Are watching. So you're watching. Professor and friends. Professor and friends. Professor and friends. Joey the professor and friends. 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 Sponsored by Artemis Overland Hardware in Springfield, Missouri. More Expo, April 8th through the 10th, 2022. Big Iron Overland Rally, first weekend in June of next year. U.S. Action Tracks, Blue Cell Coffee Roasters, Linson Solar, Howling Moon Tents and Awnings, and our good friends at Long Creek Overland. Thank you for joining our show. Let's get this party started. And I'm glad that uh, we showed that right there because I do want to mention all of our sponsors because I am truly, truly thankful for them that they believe enough in this show to to pour their hearts and uh, and and while it wallets and pocketbooks and all that other stuff into it so um action u.s action tracks kc y'all y'all camped right beside him at uh at rendezvous such a cool guy yeah uh, they they were a hoot man we, we really enjoyed them hoot. if yeah. you've never met kc from u.s action tracks Casey Sir Skyner, you yep. are an amazing amazing dude he's got more stories than the 90 year old man sitting around the campfire i mean he used to put these action tracks on his back in a backpack and walk around these events and sell them he'd come back he'd get some more sell them come back and get some more he, he was traipsing a, he was traipsing across the desert with a pair on his back trying to get to somebody in a race or something yeah, one time yeah, and it was just crazy Baja race, yes Baja, yes super cool i He's mean i love it i love the action tracks more expo <laughs> Put that on your calendar. I've got it right here behind me. It's always behind me because Chris does an amazing job. April yeah. 8th through the 10th in Springfield, Missouri. Tony will be there. I'll be there. Everybody's yeah. going to be there, so you need to be there. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, he has got so many things planned this year. Um, Chris is actually going to start coming on the show uh, probably once a month starting in G December or January until we get to the more Expo. And he's got new stuff coming all the time. He awesome. has got uh, vendors that are going to be inside 100,000 square feet, outside in tents. So many cool things. Uh, so many people are going to be there that you watch on YouTube and you will love it. It's going to be cool. It'll be yeah. the place to be. That's right. Big Iron Overland Rally uh, announced the dates June 3rd through the 5th of 2022 tickets go on sale january the 1st so make sure that you check out big iron overland rally.com tickets go on sale january the 1st this is not like every other event this event will sell out so you've got to make sure and get your tickets it will sell out i promise you if you have never seen big brutus it needs to be seen it's super it's it's just huge. a fantastic weekend great great it's really great. really I cool such a very different weekend with all the bands that come in. And I'm telling you, from Redneckville all the way up to pyrotechnic craziness. Who who is your favorite? Who was your favorite there? They were they were all good. Who, they who? were all good. Um yeah. Arkansas I, was good. Um, I liked Sequel Dose. Sequel Dose was I so really good. loved them, yeah. Yeah. They were so good. And we actually didn't go to their concert because we were right beside the um, the place where they were. Oh, yeah, playing. yeah. And yeah. so we sat around the fire and listened to them, and they rocked the house. It yeah. was so, so good. Love yeah. them. Yeah. Um, Artemis. Artemis Overland Hardware. Aaron has always been uh, so good to us. Uh, 
you picked up a tent from him on Friday that you won from uh, yes uh, from uh, Blue Line Overland. He is always so good, so generous to donate to uh, organizations like that, and has such a huge heart. On December the fourth, we're having rigs and coffee and a Christmas party. So we would love to for you to be there. If you don't have anything going on uh, during that day, come up to Artemis, visit his showroom. He's got so much inventory to look at. I promise you promise you you need to come up with an empty truck or trailer because you're going to want to buy something he's got such cool stuff yeah so that's going to be springfield december the 4th linson solar has always been such a uh cool people with me they're really hard to talk to because they're chinese but hey we have an interpreter and i use google but they have always done me so good they put uh the solar panel that's on my hood they've they 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 just do, put out good products and well, I love them and they keep everything charged. I think we're going to have to look at those for the top of our new tent. You definitely need those. Yeah. You definitely need those. Might have to um, look at them. I, I love they they make marine grade, which are super thin, super light, double sided tape. They'll stick to anything. Do very, very well. Uh, right now they got 10 percent off going on for Black Friday. So I definitely nice. up linsonsolar.com. Nice. Blue, Blue Cell Coffee, I went by there. They've got a new thing out right now. It's a limited edition called Volcano Hiker. And he doesn't nice. call that just, just because he's coming up with a name. He actually got these beans from around a volcano. In, I think it's uh, Honduras or Bolivia or something. No like kidding. That. Crazy. Uh, limited edition going on right now, BlueCellCoffee.com. Uh, roasted right here in my hometown. And... Uh, such a cool guy. Awesome. Uh, give them give them a look. Long Creek Overland just announced Black Friday sale, 10% off. Is it 10% off? It uh, is 10%. 10 off 10%. everything. Yep. Everything Black, on the website. Yep. If you Black want Friday. a professor and friends shirt or hoodie, now's the time to get it. Yeah. Now's the time. If you want some bats off-road stuff, now's the time to get it. Everybody that you watch has stuff on there. Folks, if you if you go on there looking for a T-shirt, you see a design you like, but you don't see a color of the T-shirt, reach out to Long Creek and let us know. Let us know if you're looking for a specific color and you don't see it. Yeah, you know, they'll get it. They'll get yeah. it for you and get it made. They love helping people out. Yeah. And the Howling Moon Tents and Awnings. I was able to get out in mine for the first time this past weekend. Super impressed. I'm super impressed with Howling Moon straight from South Africa, available only at Artemis Overland. And uh, let me tell you, during the middle of the day, with the sun shining, the inside of that tent was black as night. You could no not kidding. see your hand in front of your face. It's heavy quality material. We love it. It's definitely so, heavy. Yep. Yeah, definitely love it. So I'm real excited. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. I really hope you all get out there and support them. Now, moving on, uh, what are you thankful for when it comes to Overland? So that's a really tough one. When I think about all of the things that we need or need, want hey, to go Overlanding, we'll say need. We'll say need. Uh, it kind of has something to do with food. Hmm. Uh, I... I don't know. I, I really kind of feel like uh, the fridge, having a fridge to keep in all this food, you know, the right temperature where it needs to be kept. And I feel like the fridge is uh, is kind of near the top. Uh, for me. Um, you know, it was a game changer for us yeah. moving from it's a big changer. Fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a lot of people say uh, you don't need one. You can wait. You can always get ice. You can't always get ice. Yeah. Um, no. And so it's, it was, it was definitely a game changer for us. To get to yeah. Manage. Well, I mean, if you got to pack up and go get ice, if you got a rooftop tent, you got to pack up camp and go get ice. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you know, if, if, if you don't have a trailer and everything's attached to your vehicle, packing up and going and get stuff is not easy. Yeah. Uh, we found that out when we were camping on the beach and we ran out of water. And we actually had to pay somebody that was going up and down the beach to go and get water for us. Oh wow! Um, it's uh, it's 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 not fun. It's not easy, and um, and you might find yourself in a bad situation. So yeah, definitely, definitely. 
I'll show you what I'm thankful for. Uh oh, let's see it. Oh, oh no, it came in. Uh, guess what was waiting on it my porch when I got home. Oh no, that's Let me awesome. Tell you, this big box, this gigantic box, was on our porch when we pulled up, and I asked my wife, I said, what did you order? And she said, I ain't ordered nothing. What would you order? I said, I ain't ordered nothing. Because I didn't expect this to be in until January. And let me tell you, the Zero Breeze air conditioner. Oh, my gosh. And this is this is the new model. This is not like one I've seen before. Yeah. It is. It is incredible. It's so how, beautiful. How heavy oh is that? It's so cool. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna sleep with it. I'm yeah, gonna... you're gonna huddle up. Well, I'll huddle up you, with it. There, there has been so many times. There's been so many times that we have not went camping or wheeling or whatever because it gets so stinking hot at night. Yeah, and I can't sleep when I'm hot. No, but you know, there's times when I could go to the Buffalo River, Cadron River, Big Piney, whatever, and you know, during the day you can get in the water, swim, fish, whatever, and stay cool. But at night, if it's 85 degrees, 90 degrees, I that's miserable. Sleep. There's mm -hmm. not enough no. fans in this world no. that will help me sleep. No. So this is going to be. You that's talk about a game changer. For another us. game changer. Yeah. I mean, this is going to, uh, if you saw, if you haven't seen it, Matt McClellan did a video on this. It got up to 90 plus degrees at night. He specifically went out during the hottest part of the summer in Arkansas. And he had to turn it off yeah. because he was freezing. It got down to 55 degrees inside a canvas tent. Yeah. That's that crazy. sold it for me. It sold yeah. it for me. Yeah. And so... They had a Black Friday sale and had $200 off. Plus, um, they had a deal on there that said if you were a first responder, uh, then you get a special discount. So I filled it out. They gave me another $50 off. And so for $1,250, I, I got the 15, it was normally $15.99, and I got the, I got the Zero Breeze. So that one. That one uh, came with the extra battery and stuff. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I'm super pumped. Super. I, I'm still I'm still hearing it that it, from my wife that Mason Berry got that thing on on sale for what was it half off or something seven fifty yeah. or something like that that church. Yeah. Sorry, Arla. Um, yeah. I know. I know. You're just you're just you're hurting right now. You're hurting. Anyway. But uh, don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. But but let me tell you, I hit I hit the buy button on that like Thursday. Yeah. Uh didn't we do the show on Thursday last week? No, last week was Tuesday. Okay. Well I hit the buy button on Tuesday because I told you that day that I, yeah. I was like, I couldn't I can't stand it. I'm gonna have to get yeah. it. So I told you that day I was getting it. So a week later I get the thing in the mail. I would and, and it said it said on the deal. Fifty dollars reserves your spot because they're so far behind. Yeah, I never expected it to be here. Never expected yeah. it to be here. I didn't. But, I didn't either. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's here she is. Yeah, Mason, appreciate you, bro. Hey, Mason, welcome to the show. I uh, like all the black cans clapping there, man. That's awesome. Uh, Keith, uh, normal price tag on that is fifteen ninety nine. Um, it runs off its own battery. It is a true air conditioner. They got them right now for thirteen ninety nine. So, um, I actually, uh, I actually uh, took money out of savings. Uh, we were going to wait until spring uh, when our tax return usually comes, but since they never have a sale on these because they can't keep up with the demand, so yeah, I went ahead and got it. Uh, Sasha said, I've never needed an air conditioner when camping. I have needed more clothes and more heat, but never air conditioning. That's because you haven't been camping during the summer. Um, you know. that, and that's that comes to the second thing I'm thankful for, and that was our diesel heater. Yeah. We would not have made it. We wouldn't have made it. It was incredible. 
Correct. Yeah, I mean, it's it was right there near the top of my list. There's so many things that to be thankful for. It's like, well, how do you, you know, be thankful for so much is how do you know which one's more? Yeah. Yeah. Chop, chop. Yeah, that's her saying. Let's go, buddy. Where's my air conditioner? Uh, Keith asks, there's no heat exhausted. Yes, it does have a hose that you have to run outside because it is... Uh, it's a true air conditioner. So you have a drip hose and exhaust hose, and then you have a hose that goes in that blows the cold air in. So see, I was getting ready to ask you about moisture, how it, how it, uh, it exits the... out. So you actually have to have a way for this to get out. Okay. Um, and so if you put it inside with you, you have to run a hose or two hoses outside. I, I have to read up on it, um, and study it. And, uh, so when I put it in bed with me, with me tonight, I may, uh, when I love on it, I may, uh, I figure out, but yeah, with it. <laughs> uh, that gives me a warm and fuzzy. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh man. Um, I tell you another thing that I'm thankful for when it comes to overlanding is the number of places that we have to go is just unbelievable. Um, it's, yeah, it's that's a, so that's a cool. very good point. Yeah, it's so cool to live in a place where, I mean, I I've never even been to all the places in my state, mm -hmm. much less all the places that are on my bucket list. You know, I've never been to the Grand Canyon. I've never been to um, Alaska. I've never been through several of the uh, provinces in Canada that mm -hmm. you know were Banff and all these cool oh places. i would love to go there Man. um i've i talked to my buddy this week mm -hmm. we're planning a trip to uh the boundary waters next year in june so i'm i've always wanted to go there if you if you're a, a boater or, or a kayaker that's that's like heaven when it comes yeah. to kayaking yeah and so we're go we're going there is his parents on a a cabin right on the, one of the entry waters and their back porch is actually a deck on the water. So wow. I'll get to go there next summer, get to ride up there with him and spend the whole week with him. And uh he's uh just super cool to invite me to go up there and I appreciate that. Uh it's it's really neat. Um uh, there's so many places out west that I've wanted to go, Valley of the Gods or White Rim Trail, uh so many places in Utah I've never been. Uh, Arizona, I've never been. So Pipes. all them places in California that they get to wheel year round, I've never Pike, been. Pikes Peak, you ever been to Pikes Peak? I've been to Pikes Peak. I have not been up Pikes Peak. Uh, we yeah. went to Pikes Peak a few years ago when it was so cloudy, wasn't no really no sense in going. And you really have to time it right, you know. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, if you can't go up, it keep if you can't go up there and see, there's really no reason to go. So we didn't go. Back in August, when we went to uh, Expo Mountain West, mm. on the way home, we saw Valley of the Gods, or no, Garden of the Gods. You said Valley of the Gods, didn't you? Or Garden of the Gods. Mm. Yeah, we saw yeah. Garden of the Gods and Pikes Peak the same day. It was amazing. Such an That's incredible awesome. time. Yeah. Yeah. We're thankful oh, for Mason too. Yeah, Mason. <laughs> Mason's still talking about my air conditioner. You can use it as a heater. That is true, yeah. Arla. Yeah, uh, Arla's still um, lusting over my air conditioner heater thing. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Skip. Thanks for joining the show. We're talking about what we are thankful for. Tell us what you're thankful for, Kip, Skip, and everybody. Um, thank uh, Mason. We are very thankful for you. I'm I'm very thankful that I met you. Um, I'm very thankful that. One of the first rendezvous we got to listen from afar as you all guys from Blue Line Overland tased each other and, uh, you know, started rumors that that was like a normal thing for you guys. So uh, I was. Uh, See, really... I kept waiting for the tasers to come out. I I was, uh, I never, yeah. I was like, what? what happened? I didn't bring my one from work because there's too much paperwork to do and I have to use a cartridge. So, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my wife has one of those and we we joke around we're going to use it on each other all the time it's wow. fun uh yeah mason says taser tag <laughs> yes 
Oh, Keith says, check out Palo Duro Canyon in West Texas, the mini Grand Canyon. I have yeah, I heard of this. This is not very far outside of Amarillo. Um, uh, some guys actually posted about this. Um, and, you know, uh, Texas is one of the places where um, – where, where they say that, that it's it's hard to go overland and because there's no public land uh, yeah. it's all either yeah. state uh, state land or 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 private land or something like that so or national there's park. no no uh, yeah or national park so uh, yeah. Palo Duro Canyon is actually a state park I believe I looked that up in West Texas um, and it is really really beautiful out there it's not very far from amarillo so the next time we travel out le out west i think i'm gonna try to plan a few days to go out there to Pal palo duro um, i also plan on going to uh, big bend uh, in february and also march uh, hopefully you'll be going there next month yeah yeah the end of the last week of december i think we're gonna make a loop uh kind of a a Western loop where we go through West Texas around through New Mexico, um, the Carlsbad caverns, all that, that area, white sands, uh, Lincoln national forest. Uh, and then if we can find a place to camp, we'll be at big bend. So the last week of the year, we'll spend new year's Eve somewhere down there. Jason Hester, apparently, do you know, Jason? Jason Hester. He says, thankful for Grandma's Coconut Cream, cream Pie 2, Gladiator, or Wrangler Unlimited. What would you buy now? Yeah, Jason, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, your name sounds familiar, but I can't I can't place you. Um, Grandma's Coconut Cream Pie 2, Gladiator, or Wrangler Unlimited. What would I buy? If you had Oof. the choice of a Wrangler Unlimited or a Gladiator, what would you what would you buy now? I probably, I mean, I love my Gladiator. I, I mean, if I didn't, if I didn't have either one, I'd get a Gladiator. Hmm. Oh, look what Arla said. Yeah. <laughs> of course yeah, you I mean, his best, Arla. Well, I mean, it's a tough, it's a tough call. Um, yeah. You know, we're fortunate enough we have one of each, but. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I've just grown really attached to the Gladiator. I I love the way that thing has turned out, and really looking forward to building it. So it's or or uh, uh, going on trips with it now. So uh, mm -hmm. ooh. Oh, now you're just dreaming, Arla. You're dreaming, ooh. Arla. When Arla wins the lottery, the Rubicon 392. Oh, he says I live three doors down. Love the videos. Nice. Doors down and laughing and drinking and having a nice. Party. Okay. Lester says, "Thankful for God, wife, and tires with low air pressure capabilities and four ply sidewalls." <laughs> oh, blue. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Let me tell you, I've been out in uh, in Colorado and, and I came back off a trail and I had a huge rip in one of my sidewalls. And uh, definitely thankful for four ply sidewalls that will hold up to some of those rocks out there because man, they take a beating. Take a beating. Yeah. And yeah. there's nothing worse than having to change a tire on the side of a, of one of those trails out there. So yeah. when nobody can get past you or anything like that. So it's crazy. Yeah. That's Ar right. Arla, a girl can dream. That's right. Yeah. A girl can dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, when you talk about vehicles, I'm I'm really really thankful that we have vehicles that are so capable mm -hmm. that are that you know can take us out on some of these adventures and um you know i my life changed when i bought my fj it, it completely changed uh, my off-road uh career started back in 1988 when i purchased uh suzuki samurai and put uh back then put buckshot gumbo mutters on that no Suzuki way camera. no and way i absolutely That's awesome. love that vehicle i i wish i had it today it i bet it went anywhere yeah yeah that's what i've heard that's what i've heard yeah it was awesome now the motor it was horrible i mean if i was driving from conway to marlton i'd have to downshift two gears to make it up one of the hills on the interstate but if you got it off-road 
it would go anywhere. And yeah. I absolutely loved, love that vehicle. And I've had four wheel drive since then, but nothing has really changed my life more like the FJ has done. Um, I have poured my heart and soul into that car. Nice. And uh, absolutely love it. And I am so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for the day that we walked out there to buy that Tacoma. And my wife said, you're not going to be happy with that. And so I said, okay, let's go look around. And we went and looked around and we saw this FJ and she said, what is that? I've never seen one of those before. And so thankful for that day that we drove that. She loved it. I loved it. We came home with it. And ever since then, it's 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 changed our lives a it's, match made in heaven it was and she liked it so much she bought her own so it's, so so question on the fj did i read somewhere that it was coming back you know there's rumors about that every single year oh is every there, single okay. year somebody says oh they're bringing it back and it's going to look like this because somebody is always doing a uh rendition of it but nobody's actually seen one. There's only been pictures. And so they bring these pictures out and say, hey, this is Toyota's F, uh, FJ Cruiser, or they call it something different for 2026, you know, or whatever. What do you think? And they put it on the FJ Cruiser sites every okay. year. Uh, but nobody's actually ever seen one. So and I've been so scammed they're not is what you're them. They're only putting, uh, They're only putting pictures out. And, okay. You know, All right. uh, well, it's rumored every year. Who knows? Okay. Who yeah. knows? They shouldn't have ever discontinued it. it That's was right. One of the best selling cars cool they've ever had. It's a it's cool rig. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. I'll tell you what. Uh, I've got I've got an angst with Toyota. Yeah. How about that. Uh Aaron Sharp. I'm new to the off-roading world and am so thankful for the amazingly supportive people that share their knowledge and experience. Exactly exactly it's you know a lot of the forums that you get on a lot of the groups that you get on there's idiots everywhere but there's also people that love to help and yeah. that's one of the reasons that we're here like i said in the intro there's no pros here just bros but we've been out there and we've done it and we love to share our experience because it is what we live for it's what we love to do and my wife says very true um, yeah you know there's there's women out there that love to help other women and uh, we love to help whoever you are. That's, that's why we're here. So right. if you ever have a question, always post it on here. We'll be glad to ask or find somebody who knows the answer. Right. Another thing I'm thankful for, and you said it all boils down to food. I'm so a big thankful, part of it. So yeah. thankful that we have so many different ways to cook. I love cooking. It's probably one of my favorite things to do when we're out and I unpack it all. Uh, today I was making this morning. I made breakfast on my lodge cast iron griddle, double griddle. Uh, last night I made dinner on the scottle and Saturday evening I made bread in the Dutch oven. And so yep. it's, and I made potatoes in the Dutch oven. So, and my wife said, thank you, Aubrey, for cooking for me. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love, uh, I made homemade guacamole last night. Yeah, I it saw that. so good. Um, and, you know, you can do anything. Yeah. I just happened to have all the ingredients. I didn't plan on making that, but I just happened to have all the ingredients there. And it was so fun and so good. And we cuddled around the, our new little um, propane fire pit while we ate dinner and then we ran up into the tent because we were freezing to death. You know, it was, uh, but it was fun. It was yeah. fun. Coffee. Can't, I can't start a day without coffee. Are you a yeah. coffee drinker? I am. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. So You're a creamer guy. I, I am a little bit. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, but I would, I would say that when it's hot in the summertime, sometimes I don't make coffee. When it's when it's really hot, sometimes I, I skip. The, I, sometimes I'll drink some of the cold, some of the cold coffee. But uh, for the most part, we're okay. we're full on coffee season now. I like it. I like it. Definitely full on coffee season. I mean, yeah. my wife, and and here's the issue that we have. My wife likes creamer, and I don't use creamer. And so when I'm packing. Um, I do all, I, I load the car, do all that stuff, and I pack all the food because I'm the one who cooks. 
I always forget the creamer. Always. Because I don't use it. And, you know, I have to remind myself, get the creamer. Because if if my wife does not have a creamer, she's not drinking coffee. And I'm telling you, she was like, I can't believe you forgot my creamer. That's and awful. So, anyway. Don't worry about it, Keith. I'll bring my own creamer. I'll bring my own coffee. I'll bring my own coffee. I got coffee right here. <laughs> got, right here. got a limited edition right here. Made my own hotel. Arla says she likes the monster cough. Well, she um, what she was saying there is that's sometimes my go-to when it's hot. Oh, uh, that's I'll your get, cold coffee. I'll, I'll get my cold, cold stuff. Coffee. Yeah, I'll I get do like coffee. the monster coffee. Monster, uh, the coffee, uh, coffee flavored monsters. Yeah, uh, something, something bean. Um, golly, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, ah, wife does. We're good. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, we're good. Um, and another thing that I'm truly thankful for, Hey, can you believe we've been talking about this for now? I can't, I just, just looked up and saw it's going down and I was like, <laughs> Holy cow. I, uh, I am so thankful that I have a job Yeah. where I can work some overtime and afford all this stuff. I mean, yeah. be able to afford the, the air conditioner, the diesel heater that keeps us comfortable. And you know, it. you know, one of the things that I said in the beginning, is having a wife that likes to do the same things that I do, but I really want to make sure that she's comfortable because if she's not comfortable and she does not have a good time, she's not going to enjoy it. And she's, uh, she may not, she may not want to go back the next time. You never know. That's so right. I, I try to, uh, you know, work this over time, be able to buy this stuff to make us comfortable. The walls for the awning. Uh, if we hadn't had that, we wouldn't have been able to stay outside because yeah. it was so stinking cold. Um, and, you know, the diesel heater, the Annex, uh, we have fell in love with the Annex because we can come downstairs out of our tent into a room that's warm for us mm -hmm. to get dressed. Yeah. That was one of the things I always hated about getting out of a tent was, I have to get dressed outside. It's freezing out there. I have to pee. I don't want to go out there. Mm -hmm. You know, it was and it was uh it was great. So great. you can so you can come down the ladder in your jammies and be in a nice room and change at your leisure and not yeah. be rushed because you're freezing. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely love it. You come downstairs, yeah. you have this big, it's gigantic room that you're it's right there and it's it's warm already and yeah. you can if you've got everything there we had a stuff to brush our teeth there we had our clothes there we had uh you know one of the things i always forget i forget to take a chair in there because i cannot put my shoes on unless i'm sitting now <laughs> uh, so because i'm not it's flexible. not no I'm not flexible those days are behind us Oh my goodness, you know, and I get in positions where I get leg cramps and then I scream like a hyena yeah. in heat and yeah. I, I can't do it. So, yeah. um, it, it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny last night. I just have to tell you this. Uh, I can't remember if oh, it was this morning. It was this morning. I woke oh. up. I had to pee real bad, but I didn't want to get up, but I did have my portable urinal. Yeah. So, uh, it, it worked great, but I was laying there. Nice. We heard all these cars going by, you know, the sun was coming up. It was eight o'clock, but I looked on the temperature thing. It said 31 degrees. And I'm like, Oh my God, I want to go out there. It's cold. So I just laid there. Well, I got the sneezes. And oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard me sneeze, but I sneeze mm -hmm. so loud and it echoed. Connie could hear the echo when I sneezed this morning. And she, oh, said, wow. <laughs> she said, you're going to have to put your face in your pillow. Because that is echoing through this whole campground. And I said, nobody's here but us. No, nobody. <laughs> What's the TikTok? What it's, it says, uh, who, but they'll know. Who would know? Who they know? won't know. Oh, they'll know. Who will know? Yeah, they're going to know. They can't know. They're going to know. Gonna know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sasha says, amen to overtime. Yeah. yeah. Without overtime. Uh, good job. I wouldn't be able to afford this, and and we wouldn't have everything that that we needed. Um, Nobody's gonna know. Yeah. 
Hey, our buddy from High Point Overland. Hey, thanks for joining the show. I appreciate that. Yeah, Connie said the, the mower guy would know. <laughs> uh, yeah, sneezing issues. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, I sneeze uh, because I have allergies, and I also sneeze when I eat too much. Is that weird? Um, When you eat too much? Yeah. Really? That's weird. Can you make yourself sneeze? I can't make myself sneeze. But if I eat too much, I sneeze. Every now because and then. Because Connie has to apologize to all the people in the restaurant. I have this spot on my forehead that if I scratch it just right every now and then, I can make myself sneeze. Well, see, we're both weird. Yeah. Well. I'm not going to try that now because I got all this stuff on. <laughs> Y'all don't want to see me I don't sneeze. Think I've ever, I don't think I've ever uh, sneezed on air. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't uh, be good. It would probably blow my computer up. Oh yeah, I did that. It'd be all. It'd be all. Yeah, we are going to okay. test the eating too much. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate it. Yes, <laughs> that's fun. Well, man, I let me tell you, we could go on and on and on about things that we're thankful for, and I just want to remind everybody out there: it doesn't matter who you are, where you live. Um what your status in life, how much money you make, uh, what your family situation is, you have something to be thankful for. And I want to encourage everybody to sit down this week and just make a list like we did of things you're thankful for. It will remind you about how good you've got it. And, yeah. you know, if you don't think you've, you've got it good, take a trip downtown. You'll see people who've got it uh, less than you. So, I just want to encourage everybody to be thankful this week and not just this week, but all the time, because we have so much to be thankful for. Yeah. Oh, well, here we are two days away from Thanksgiving and we are coming to the end of our show and I just have so much more to talk about, but we just, like it going probably, on. we're probably, running out of patience with those who are tuned in so i know uh kara mcclellan has a show that's coming up they just got back from new mexico so tune in at nine o'clock central standard time wonder wonder repeat or wonder wonder repeat one of the two i can't remember what it is but uh because i put myself on the spot but check it out uh she will be on here in a little uh, a little less than an hour always have a good show but thank you for joining us tony we're going to be coming back next week. Isn't that right? That's right. Every week. As long as you'll have me, I'll be here every week. Same Bro. Bat time. Same bat Same channel. Bat channel. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. That's right. That's right. So for uh, Tony at Bats Off Road and myself, the professor, thank you all for joining us. We appreciate you being here as you go through this week. Watch out for number one. Don't no step at number two. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. Professor. 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 Professor and friends. Joey the professor and friends. Professor and friends. Professor and friends. The professor and friends. Professor and friends. Professor and Professor and friends. Sponsored by Artemis Overland Hardware in Springfield, Missouri. More Expo, April 8th through the 10th, 2022. Big Iron Overland Rally, first weekend in June of next year. U.S. Action Tracks, Blue Cell Coffee Roasters, Linson Solar, Howling Moon Tents and Awnings, and our good friends at Long Creek Overland. Thank you for joining.